Angela Marie. Let's get started with this mixed pole fit class. Right hand, take a walk around your pole. Just warming up here. Go ahead and stop on the side of your pole, facing that pole. Peel those legs out nice and wide. You're going to come up and down on those toes. Just warming the ankles a little bit. Circle them around. And then go the other way. Go ahead and drop those heels. We're moving to the hips side to side. So abs nice and tight. Imagine you have a corset on. You're cinching everything in. And now take those hips forward and back. A little tuck and tilt. And then put those two moves together. Big circle on the floor with the hips. Let's go in the other direction. And then bring it back to the center. Up and down on the toes again. And now we're going to move to the chest pop. So drop those heels. You're going to pop the chest forward, round the back. Pop, round, pop, round. And then we're going to move those shoulders side to side. So just the rib cage. You're pushing through the rib cage, lower body still. Abs nice and tight. And then take it back to that pop. Pop, round, pop, round. Again. And side to side. We're going to put those two moves together into a big chest roll. So pop the chest and round. Pop and round. So you imagine that you're taking your boobs and lifting them up and over, up and over, so that it isolates right along that rib cage. Let's go the other way. One way is always better than the other. And then bringing that back to the center. We're going to come up on those toes, take a squat down and a dip, and then doing it again. Squat and dip. So you're pivoting the knees and toes, watching that they turn with you. Bring it all the way back up top. Left arm, taking a walk around. And then again, we're going to stop on the side of the pole. <clears throat> Peel those legs out wide. Circle those hips. And then add the chest roll with it. So it's hips and chest. And go the other way. And then back to the center. Down and up on those toes. Hold it at the top. Circle them around. Go the other way. Let's go back to those dips side to side. Squat and scoop. Squat and scoop. Again, pivoting the knees and toes with you in that same direction. Hold this one at the top. Back to some circles. Hip and chest. Take it low. Come back up. Low, low. Back up top. Let's go the other way. Down, down, up, up, again, all the way up top, right arm, taking a walk. This time we're going to stop on the back of the pole, little twist, one foot stepping right over top the other, and then peel those legs out wide. Back to some circles, hip and chest, sink into it again, come back up, let's dip again, side to side. Pivot those knees and toes. Hold this one at the top. Left arm, take a walk. We're going to stop on the front. Turn under your arm, that pirouette. Peel those legs out wide. So you're resting your back on the pole. Circle the hips here. And then taking some of those dips, that squat and scoop again. Pivoting the knees and toes. Last one, hold it at the top. Pushing your butt back in, grab that pole. Walk those hands down. You're going to walk the hands out a little bit. Kick those legs back. Push the floor away. Abs nice and tight. And slow lower. Elbows in tight to the body. Push that floor away. Slow lower. Push that floor away. Can we do one more? Sure we can. Push it back up. Take those legs wide. Walk it back in. Roll that body back up. Right arm taking a walk. We're going to stop on the side of that pole. Turn to face that pole. Hands low. Roll it out. Chest, abs, hips. So that body roll, loosening the spine. Chest, abs, hips. Shoving the pole on the floor. So it's always chest first. And you're rolling back. Chest, roll it back. Drop the butt. There you go. Last time. Left arm, taking a walk. We're going to turn under for that pirouette again. Turn it under, backside on the pole. Peel those legs out wide. Circle here. Ready for those dips, side to side. Dip again. Two more. 
pull this one at the top. Go ahead and grab that pole, walk it down, walk those hands back out, find that plank position, push up here. Elbows in tight to the body, slow lower, big push up. Do it again, everything strong. One more time. Pull this one up top, bringing those knees in. So crunch right, crunch left. Pull the knee to the chest. Again. One more each side. And then go to give me a hop forward. Trace those legs up all the way. Left arm, take a walk. Stop it on the side again, going for that body roll. Hands low, chest, abs, hips. Chest, abs, hips. Again, you're shoving that pole on the floor, warming the shoulders and the arms, as well as loosening that spine. Last time, take those legs out wide here. Back to some circles, hip and chest. And then we're gonna walk those hands down the pole. So a little shimmy down. Hold it at the bottom, stretching those legs out. You can shift into each hip, each foot, and bring those hands to the floor. And then we're gonna walk those hands right back up. Step in a little closer to your pole, hands low. Round that back, that big back stretch. So think about that cat stretch. Pull the shoulder blades apart, and then roll that body up top. Big shoulder rolls at the top. And forward. Last time. Walk to the side, palms on the back, feet close to the base, drop those hips out. So open that chest, big stretch here, pull it in, drop it out again, open that chest, and let's pull it in, cross to the other side. Palms on the back, feet close, hips fall out, and then pull it back in. Again, drop those hips out, and pull it back in. Nice stretch there. So rolling those wrists a little bit, Take it up top. Let's go for some big hula hoops here. So abs nice and tight, circling around. So you're cinching everything up here like you have a corset on. Pull the abs in, go the other way. And then we're gonna bring that back to the center. Drop those hands down, take that body roll. Down, roll it up. Again, down, roll it right back up. Let's go one more time, all the way up. Big inhale here, up. Exhale, and again. And down. Alrighty, so let's jump right into this. So we're gonna come to um, the side of your pole. We're gonna take the right leg and hook it nice and high. Heels gonna squeeze tight to your butt cheek. Standing leg, you want right under that hip and you're gonna turn that out just a little bit. So heel squeezing tight, feel that hamstring. Standing legs driving into the floor. You're gonna tip it out to the side, engage in that waist. You're pushing this hip forward. You should be flat, knee, hip, and shoulder in a straight line. So it's flat on this front hip. Reach long and lengthen, and then you pull it in for that strengthen elbow to butt. Reach long and lengthen, pull it in, strengthen. Again, you're driving that foot into the floor, feeling that hamstring on the right leg. And again, last one, bring it up. We're gonna switch sides. Left leg's gonna hook nice and high here. Knee and hip in line. Standing leg's gonna open up. Drive that foot into the floor, top heel to the butt. Reach it out, lengthen that side waist. Reach nice and flat through the hip here, so you don't wanna sit back. You wanna push that hip forward. Reach and crunch, elbow to butt. Doing it again and crunch. Yes, yes. Options to add on. Hands, both of them together and pulling in. The weight of your arms makes that harder. You can also carry that big heavy ball with you. Here, shoulders down, big heavy ball up top. So choosing the options that you want. Again, last one. I think we did a few extra over there. Shake it out. So coming into your climb practice, we're taking the right hand high. Right leg is coming in that high march position, top of the foot touching the pole. Shove that pole in the floor as you step up to that pole stand. You're squeezing the inner thighs tight, tight. Engage the abs, that hip rotation inward. Hands are low or off. You're kind of hollowed out here. Little push side to side. So think of the waist here, 
Nice tight abs. Again, that corset cinched up on you. Working inner thighs and abs here. Uh huh. And then that narrow grip, right hand on top. Shoulders back and down, drive the elbows towards the floor, pop that chest, release those legs, sliding it down. So always want to make sure the shoulders are pulled back and down, like you have big earrings on and you're trying to show them off. So we don't want the shoulders up here. It's always back and down. Pop the chest, squeeze the shoulder blades. Let's climb left. Left hand high, left leg high march. Take that step up to stand. Again, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. You might have higher ceilings or higher space to climb. So of course you can take it there. But otherwise you're staying nice and tight. Those inner thighs, hands low or off. Hollow it out and again that push, push. So inner thighs. Abs, and then bring it down. Narrow grip, left hand on top this time. Shoulders back and down, pop that chest. Remember your options. You can still squeeze with the inner thighs, but fold those legs up. And you're loosening that grip, so you kind of take the back and shoulders to do the work. Or you're letting those legs come off as you come down. So choosing your progressions each time we go through. Come to the left side of your pole. You're going to take that right arm as your inside arm. Slide those hips across the front. Outside arms going on top. It's that strong hold. So you're going to shove the pole on the floor. Turn to the side a little bit so you can see. Hands should always be about shoulder height. Not up here because you're going to tend to drop and sink. So you want the hands low. Always rolling the shoulders back and down. Elbows drive to the floor. So chest pop back engaged. I'm going to take that fan kick over. So I shove the pole on the floor. You want the legs in that straddle, up on the toes already to start. It's that inside leg that's going to start the fan over. Option one, so if you're just starting out, you're going to bring that inside leg up. Once it gets to the top, you switch and then pivot over. So it puts you on the other side. Let's try it again with that option one. You're shoving the pole on the floor. Again, inside leg, legs are strong. I'm using the abs to help you here. So I shove the pole on the floor, tuck those hips, abs engage, and over. I kind of went into that option two on that one there ahead of time. So let me just clarify that. Option one, you're here, then you switch and go over. Option two, you're using your core, the hip flexors, Really, everything is you control that whole straddle over. So I bring that leg over, the other leg follows, down, down. So you want the legs straight and strong, toes pointed, everything engaged as you go over. You're really using that tuck of the pelvis, pulling the abs in to help carry those legs over. So very strong. I want you to be cautious that you're not dropping into it down here. Again, hands low, always to see your beautiful face. All right, try it again, same side. Fan it over, either option one or two. It's controlled, down. All right, let's go to the left side. So that strong hold over here, inside hand low, outside hand on top. I wanna see your beautiful face. Shove the pole on the floor. Legs are nice and straight and strong, up on the toes already. Popping that chest, squeezing the back, inside leg. Option one, I bring it up, switch, bring it over. Doing it again. Option two, shove the pole on the floor. I control it all the way. All right, do it again. Either option, one or two, whatever you're feeling. Shove that pole on the floor, fan it over. Yes, try it again. Last time here, shoving the pole on the floor, bring it over. All right. So we're going to take a wide stance. Abs are tight. Knees and toes should go right over top of each other. So you're going to take that big squat down and up. Try and just really to use the legs. So don't use that upper body to pull you up. I want you to think legs. So one hand's good. Drop, drop. Do it again. Up on the toes, hips are open. Two more. Last one. 
come back up. So let's add that into our fan kick. So right arm as your strong hold, right leg's gonna cross back, fan it over, option one or two. Here we go, open those legs, take it down, up, again, drop it, two more, last one, up top. And we're gonna go into some bind rolls. So we're using all of this as a little strength practice, a little pull fit, but it's actually part of our routine as well. So hands are always low with our body rolls. We're rolling it in, chest, abs, hips, dropping that butt, shoving the pole on the floor. So when you roll back, you're rolling the arms nice and long, really arched. Get rid of that arch now, tuck those hips under, drop the butt, shove the pole on the floor. Roll it back, drop the butt, shove the pole on the floor. So when you smooth that out, you have that big body roll and you're working everything. So again, chest abs, hips, roll it back. Chest abs, hips, roll it back. One more time. All right, so let's try our fan kick over here. Adding that in, so left arm low. Shoving the pole on the floor, up on those toes. I can see your beautiful face. Engage the back and shoulders, inside leg, fans over with control, option one or two. Here we go, take those squats. Drop it, again. Two more here, last one. Now that body roll, hands low, roll it out, chest, abs, hips. You wanna make sure your hands are always low and that your feet are always close to the base. Chest, abs, hips. It's all about this arch here and then getting rid of that arch, that tuck. Arch, tuck. Shoving the pole on the floor, good. One more. All righty. Shake that all out. So setting that aside, we're coming back to it. There's an option in this routine for um, some twisted ballerina play. So I wanna kind of work on some shoulder and torso flexibility as we get into that. So take that right leg on the back of the pole. You're kind of coming into that side lunge position here. You want that inner thigh touching the pole. So you're kind of leaning into it. Bring that inside arm over. You're gonna grip right behind that knee, thumbs down. Then I'm gonna twist through the torso. I wanna make sure that I'm not upright. I wanna really drop my chest. And I twist through that torso to look to the ceiling. So my torso, twist. Opposite hand goes up. And I'm gonna drop that onto the pole. Thumbs up. So I'm in this twisted position. I'm pushing with this down arm and I'm twisting through the torso and shoving the pole on the floor with the top arm. So I'm pulling myself up with that. So push, pull. That twist, if I can get that elbow behind, even better. But I wanna watch this shoulder. I want that shoulder not to be rotated forward. Okay, I don't want this, that's bad. I wanna always roll that shoulder back and down. The other thing that's key, and I know you want to look forward, that tends to roll your shoulder over, so we're looking this way. So you want to roll that shoulder back and look up your pole. That's going to help you get in the best position there. Because we never just want to be hanging on this shoulder and rotating it forward. You're always rolling it back and down. Okay? So from here, let's stay on the floor and just feel this out. Keeping that standing foot on the floor. That back leg, as I push and pull the back leg, I'm gonna lift that butt cheek and lift that leg. Or I'm squeezing that butt cheek and lifting the leg. I bring that back down, I drop that shoulder, and I roll that body back up. Let's look at it on the other side. So left leg, left inner thigh touching the pole. I take that inside arm, drop it down. Again, I'm folded over and I'm going to twist through that torso, reach up, and place my hand on the pole. So thumbs down, pushing, thumbs up, pulling. All right, so again, I don't want that shoulder here, I wanna really roll it back, and that does take some flexibility. So just something to practice and work on, is just getting in this position and trying to get here. So I can roll that shoulder back, if I get that arm behind, even better of a stretch, feeling it all in the chest and shoulder. So again, practice here. I stay on this leg. I'm 
want to make sure that that knee is not tweaked. I have my whole foot on the floor. I'm planting that foot nice and strong. Push, pull, butt cheek tightens as I lift that back leg off the floor. I'm just squeezing that butt, holding, holding. And then I'm gonna bring that leg back down, drop that arm, release everything, and bring it back up. So if we switch back to the right thigh, Again, you want that inner thigh touching the pole. I drop that arm so I'm folded over, grip that pole really right behind the knee. And then I open up again, twist, reach up, roll that shoulder back and down, twisting through the torso. I can pull, push, I lift that back leg, tightening the butt cheek. And when and if I'm ready, that progression is that that front thigh, always pulling into the pole, Okay, so I have that pull into the pole here, this leg would extend. So I push down, pull, lift the back leg, extend. Okay. I grip or plant, drop that shoulder, and come back up. All right, so that's your progression. Definitely more of an intermediate move, uh, but I like to focus on it from the ground, and you can even include that part in your routine. It's good to start to get that torso and shoulder stretch happening early on so that you can work up to get to the pole. So, or off the, off the floor. So here we go, left foot's planted on the back of the pole. I twist that torso, reach up and grip. Shoving the pole on the floor. Lift that back leg, squeezing that butt. And then again, if I wanna go into that full twisted ballerina, the inside thigh pulls into the pole, that leg extends. So I shove the pole on the floor here, rolling that, really opening everything up as I twist up towards the ceiling. So I lift the back leg, extend the front leg, and then when I come out of it, I drop the back leg, drop the back arm, and come up, or the top arm, I guess that is, and release. So our routine has that climb and pose. Right arm, right leg, take that step up to stand. So your option one, if you're still working out that ballerina from the floor, that's fine. And you can even still practice it from the floor in the routine. But you would at least take your climb and stand. Remember in your stand, you're squeezing the inner thighs. You're trying to get those hands free. You're always keeping your body kind of turned into the pole, leaning inward rather than leaning away. And then I take that inside arm, drop it to the front. So then I'm pushing both palms away. So I'm really lifting the chest, pushing the palms away. So here's my, my pole stand, okay? So that's my option one variation, all right? If I'm gonna take to that twisted ballerina, then I'm gonna take that bow and twist into it, okay? So you could always take your stand, slide it down, stand in that, inner thigh touching the pole, twist into it, and reach it up, okay? So I can make sure that you're always on that foot, not just on the toe, because then I want you to tweak the knee as you come up. So make sure you're planted so you're good and stable. Twist again, practicing just that shoulder and chest flexibility, torso flexibility, and maybe being able to get the leg off, okay, or both. So if you're doing it with the climb, when you climb up, okay, we're gonna take that um, bow again. So your option one, you're here. All right. That option two, you have to actually go to the other side. So the leg that's on the front is gonna stay there. I take that bow to that leg, and I'm gonna slide that hand right underneath that as I twist. That's gonna let me open up into that twisted ballerina. And then when I'm ready to come out of it, I bring that back leg around, fold it, drop the top arm, and unravel. Shoulders back and down, that narrow grip, to release and come down. So again, always keeping the back and shoulders engaged when you exit. So again, you can climb, practice your stand, then slide down, practice your ballerina, twist a ballerina on the floor. And hopefully over a couple times of doing it, you'll be able to stay off the floor there. 
So let's look at it on the left side. So if I took a left climb, left hand high, left leg in that high march, I step up, keep that inner thigh squeeze here. All right. So I can always take my stand and push the palms away, lifting that chest, push away, push away. All right. Or I take that twisted ballerina. So I'm going to take the leg on the back side of the pole and I create that little pocket. That's what I need to do. So before I take that bow around, I can set that up so I have that little pocket. I'm hoping you can see it. Let me just turn to the side. Okay, so I'm in a stand. Usually in a stand, I want full contact with the legs. I don't want to be bent up. I want full contact. But when I'm getting into that twisted ballerina, you want that little pocket right there behind the knee. So I take that bow, same arm, same leg, slide that hand right into that pocket as I, that's gonna bend me over so that I can twist up to grip that pole. All right, once I have that, the leg on the front's gonna come off and I open up. Rolling that shoulder back and down and eventually that bottom arm can come off as well and of course, you know all the different variations. You can grab feet, all of that mess. But I bring that back leg back to the pole. If I'm already on the floor, I can step right there like I am, drop that shoulder, and roll back up. All right? Let's try it again, that left side. So if you're right-sided, um, when you climb, you're probably gonna feel more comfortable when you climb left-sided to get into your twisted ballerina if your right side is your dominant side. So, um, and now that I think about it, I'll go back over the right side because I think I, I think I switched something up in there. But um, we'll go through it again so that you definitely have the right part. So the left hand, let's go left hand on top, left leg in that high march, shove that pole on the floor, and get in that stand, squeeze. Again, I'm gonna create that pocket, the leg on the back of the pole. That's what's important, it's the leg on the back that's gonna create that little bend so that you have a little pocket behind the back of the knee that that hand can slide into. All right, I take that same arm, so the leg that's on the back, that same arm comes around the front of the pole, I bend over, slide that hand right in that pocket, twist through the torso, reach up and grip, roll that shoulder back and down, if you can get the arm behind, even better, but the leg on the front comes off as you extend, okay? And again, that arm can come off as well. When you come out of it, back leg wraps around, drop that top arm to release that shoulder, narrow grip, shoulders back and down to pop off, or slide down, of course, if you're high. So let's look at it with the right climb, um, in case I did confuse that for you in that um, first part of the lesson. So the right hand up high, right leg in that high march, Step up to stand. Again, your pole stand here. If you want to take that bow and push the palms away, that's your option one. You're just working towards getting that bow. You can go from side to side, feeling out. You're trying to be able to squeeze the inner thighs and move without sliding all around. So, we did a right climb with our right leg leading. That means that leg should be on the back side of the pole. You're going to hike that knee up just a little bit to create that pocket right there for your hand. Same leg on the back, same arm. Comes around to the front. I slide that right behind, twist through the torso, reach up and grip, rolling that shoulder back and down. I pull and push, inner thighs squeezing the pole, front leg right here, comes off. Open it up. All right. Again, that bottom hand can come off. Then I squeeze and wrap, release that shoulder. There are rep shoulders back and down, and I pop off, okay? So hopefully I got it, didn't confuse you the first time. But anyway, went through right side, left side. So choose your options, okay? We're gonna go through the whole routine, break that, the rest of it down here, and then go through the whole routine. And when you have your climb and pose, you're climbing, Take your stand, pushing the palms away. 
You can go into your twisted ballerina, or you're going to bring that down to the floor and practice that twisted ballerina. So this would have been the leg that was on the back side of the pole, okay? This is your pocket that you created. I slide that hand right behind there, twist through the torso and reach. Okay, so if I'm just practicing, I'm going to stay here and just practice being able to stretch that shoulder and chest out, lift that back leg. Maybe I can lift the front leg. Maybe I can lift both right here. Okay, coming back down. Always drop that top shoulder and you roll back up. So either way, we're all going to end up here and be able to move on to the next part. All right, set that aside. Let's go through this routine. So we're going to use, um, we went through part of it with that fan kick and the squats and the body roll. Let's rewind back to that. So go on your right arm. We're going to do a step around to a fan kick. So right hand on the pole, inside leg's going to open up to face the pole, knee and toe facing the pole, very important, and you're on the toe so you can pivot. Now I have these half socks on that allow me to pivot and turn a little easier on the hard floor. So that if you have access to something like that or at home, that certainly will help you. But you want to be able to pivot and turn. Whether you're barefoot or some of you I know like to wear heels, you can wear heels um, or the foot socks are fine too. So hand high, shoulder back and down. Outside leg out to the side. We're going to do that step around first. So that outside leg draws a big circle around to replace this one. So I tip, 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 plant, but replace. Then I'm wrapping that arm. Okay? I continue to tip back. I have to come up on this standing foot first. That lets me pivot and turn. I end up in this straddle position. Remember when we did our kick around, our fan kick earlier, we were here. So I readjust those hands though, because they may be up a little high. I want to make sure they're down. I pop that chest, shove the pole on the floor. That inside leg, which is resting on the pole. I take that fan over. Remember your option one. Once you get here, you switch and bring it over. That option two, you're controlling it all the way. Strong legs all the way over into our squats. So let's go right arm again with that step around to that fan kick. We'll do it together. Outside leg, step around, foot replace, wrap that arm, lift up on the toes. You tip, 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 plant, slide the hands down. Inside leg, fans over. Yes. Okay. Try that again. Right arm. Outside leg out to the side, tip, 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 plant, foot replace. Wrap that arm as you come up on the toe, plant. Hand slide down, fan it back over, stay here, squat. Four, three, two, last one, body roll. Hands low, feet close, chest abs, hips. You're shoving the pole in the floor as you roll that body. Again, last time, okay? Let's go one more time over here, then we'll go through the other side. Outside leg, tip, 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 plant, wrap, tip, tip, tip back, slide those hands down, inside leg, control that fan over, here we go with those dips, four, three, two, now four body rolls, chest abs, hips, chest abs, hips, remember shove that pole on the floor, last time, good, let's go to the other side. So left arm, inside leg open, rolling that shoulder back and down, outside leg out to the side. We take that step around, that fan kick. So outside leg, step around, foot replace, wrap that arm, come up on the toe. Wrap the arm, pivot back. Again, that puts you in that strong hold. Legs should be long and pointed. Shove the pole on the floor, beautiful face. All right, make sure I can see it. So hands low, inside leg. Again, fan it over. Option one, you bring it up, switch, bring it over, okay? Try it again with that option two. So remember option two, you're here, you control it all the way, okay? All right, so let's look at it. Again, left arm, shoulder back and down, outside leg out to the side, knee and toe facing the pole. Tip, tip, plant, wrap that arm as you come up on the toe, pivot back into that straddle, 
hands low, shove the pole on the floor. Fan kick it over. Open wide, squat down. Three, two, last one. Now those body rolls, hands low, chest, abs, hips. Again, you're shoving the pole on the floor. Last time. Let's go one more time, left side. Hand nice and high, inside leg open, outside leg out to the side. Tip, 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 plant. Wrap that arm as you come on the toes. Hands low, bring it back. Four squats. Four, make sure those knees and toes are protected. Last one, body rolls here, hands low. Chest, abs, hips. One more time. Yes. All right, moving on. So once we've done those, we're going to take our spin. And we walk into it. This spin is a front hook horizontal. So that means that my inside leg is going to tip, kick, hook. So similar to the abs that we were doing earlier, we were in this position. But as I tip into the spin, I want to get more horizontal. So if I'm just starting out, more vertical is going to be easier. Harder is going to get more horizontal. We can even get very horizontal. So it's going to be somewhere in between there as you progress. But that standing leg, you're going to come up on the toes so that leg's nice and tight. And as I tip into it, the standing leg is going to slide on the back side of the pole. And I want that pole to hit about mid-thigh. And it's going to be straight horizontal on the back side. So it's actually going to look something like this as I'm spinning. When you get into the spin, you want to kind of rock up on that standing toe. You're giving that forward rock and tip as you get into it. Don't jump. You just tip. Give that little push off on the toe. And as you tip into it, that standing leg again is going to go on the back side of the pole. So if you're just starting out, definitely use two hands. You're going to have to be a little more vertical for that, but that's okay. We're going to land on the floor on that outside hip, so that's your goal. Holding on here, I rock up on that toe, I tip, lift that leg, and it lets me spin right on down to the hip on the floor. Okay? We'll talk about what to do after that. If you're getting more horizontal with it, so a little more intermediate option with that, you're really getting more horizontal. You can even reach out, this reaching out and then pulling in. It's going to speed you up and give you a little more momentum as well. But again, I want to get more horizontal that way. So again, I would tip and rock. Standing leg comes on the back. I can pull it in for a little more momentum. Spin myself around there. But I still land on that hip. Okay? So it's front hook, horizontal. So inside leg, front hook, horizontal. Okay? Walking into it is going to make it easier for you. So, of course, we'll be walking into it when we do the routine. So, as we're walking and walking and walking, however many times it takes you to psych yourself up to go, you're going to adjust that hand to the height that you want to be. All right? So, again, as the hand comes down, you have to get more horizontal. So, either way, you want a straight arm, whether you're here or you're here. But as you walk, that hand slides down. The inside leg's going to hook, tipping into it, standing leg on the back. All right, let's try it right side. Walking around, when you're ready, that hand slides down to that height you've chosen. Inside leg, hook, two hands or not, to the floor so that you're on that hip. So that can make you a little dizzy, especially if you've had a little momentum with that. So that's good, we're gonna stay here on the floor a little bit. So we're gonna peel those legs off the pole. So we peel them off, and you're just gonna point those fingertips away. Um, you can drop down on your elbows here as well. But either way, we're going to bring both legs up top. Legs are tight and strong. Point the toes. And we're going to really tuck those hips under so your lower back is pushed into the floor. So you're not arching it up on your tailbone. So really push your back into the floor. I call these dig and kick. So you're going to take one leg. And you kind of act like you're scooping something up on the floor. And then you kick it at the top. So it's a strong leg. I dig and then I kick. Dig, kick, dig, kick. Again, leg strong. And then I'm going to rewind that and go the other way. 
So I go down, drag, kick, drag, kick, drag, kick. Again, legs are working, abs are working. You should feel both. Last one. Then we're going to go double legs to the side of the pole. So you're turning back towards the pole, double legs. If you're here and you can't fold them around there, then you're just gonna give yourself that little scoot back. All right, but then double legs around the pole, roll over to all fours, and then we're gonna pop it up. And when you pop up, you're gonna do a wide leg or a side leg, but you wanna end up with your backside on the pole. So for me, I'm gonna turn this way so you can see a little easier. I'm to the side of the pole, so I need to scoot myself that way. So when I pop up, I'm gonna kick that leg in front of the pole. I pop up, and then that shifts me right where I need to be so that I can trace and come all the way back up. All right, so you're just kind of paying attention to where you are. Let's try that right front hook. Walking into it, when you're ready, inside leg, right front hook, horizontal, wherever that is, give yourself a little spin so you can see. Then you clear that pole. Both legs go up top, push your back into the floor. Dig and kick, dig and kick, dig and kick. Again, abs tight, legs strong, toes pointed. Again, reverse it. Drag, kick, drag, kick, drag, kick. Last one, let's throw in two wide ones here. That gives you time to figure out where you need to be. Drop those legs to the side, roll it over, pop it up, push it back into the pole and trace it right back up, okay? Then we're gonna just pivot around so that you're back on your right arm and ready to go, all right? Let's look at it on the left side, the spin. So left hand, again, inside leg, we would tip, hook, you're getting some sort of horizontal, okay? The way out, or more upright, two hands, or one hand. Standing leg, as you go into it again, you're coming up on the toe, tighten that leg, and that thigh is gonna go on the back side of the pole. So if I just tip into it here, again, I'm going to lean out, rock, tip, thigh to the pole, and I bring it down, resting right on that outside hip. Let's come up and try it again. Let's walk into it on this side. It definitely is a spin that's easier to walk into rather than doing it just from standing. Walk, walk. When you're ready, again, you're sliding that hand down to that height of choice. When you're ready, that inside leg is gonna hook, tip hook, thigh catches the pole. You're getting a little stutter step like me. My pole's super sticky in here today. But you wanna make sure you're not squeezing for dear life with that hooked leg. It's just a gentle squeeze. All right, you can even kind of really loosen that grip if you're starting to get stuck as you go. But more momentum will definitely help you with that. So we're landed on the outside hip. We're gonna clear that pole. We're on the arms, on those elbows, legs strong. Both legs come up, you're tucking the pelvis. Push the lower back into the floor, abs tight. Here we go, dig and kick. Dig, kick, it's a strong leg kick. Up, kick, again. Now we reverse it. Here we go, drag and kick. Drag, kick, drag, kick, again. Last one, add those two wide ones in here. All right, know where we're going. Double legs, clear that pole, check where you are. You're gonna pop your leg in that direction. It's gonna put you right in front of the pole. Push your butt back into it, trace up all the way, okay? And then we turn it around, back to that left arm, ready to go. Walk into it again. So that front hook spin, when you're ready, inside leg, front hook, spin, spin. I'm gonna stop it early right here so I can see. Clear on the elbows, toes go up, back pushes into the floor, dig and kick, dig and kick. Again, let's reverse it, drag and kick, drag, kick, drag, kick, drag, kick. Last one, wide two, double legs, the side of the pole, roll it over, pop it up, trace it up, and now you're ready to go on, right? So we pivot around, left hand clears, and we're ready to go. 
So that final piece is our climb and pose. We went through that before. We're gonna climb up while they're taking that stand and bow, or we're going to drop into that twisted ballerina, whether it's on the pole or you slide down and you do it from the floor, okay? So wipe your pole, get a drink if you need to, and we'll get ready to run through the whole thing. If you're not um, you know, mastering all the moves yet, we're going to walk through it a couple times and then you can continue, once we're done with this class, you can continue to replay parts, practice the routine yourself um, several times as often as you need to and hopefully you'll get some of those progressions as you go through the routine. So let's do this, all right? Right arm nice and high. We're going to start with that step around to kick around. So let's walk first. And then for this next pass, we're going to go step around to kick around. Here we go. Outside leg steps around. Wrap that arm. Pivot back. Slide the hands low. Fan kick it over. Four squats. Four. Three. Two. Last one. Body roll. Hands low. Chest, abs, hips. Again. Last time. Walk into it. Right arm. Getting ready for that spin. So we're gonna choose our hand height. Slide it down if you're ready. Inside leg, front hook, tip and go. Land on that hip, clear that pole. Push the back into the floor, legs go up. Dig and kick, dig and kick, dig and kick. Again, hold it in reverse. Drag and kick, drag and kick, drag and kick. Last one, wide two, double legs. Roll it over, pop it up, push back into that pole, trace it up, turn it around. Right arm, take a walk. We're gonna go into that climb, all right? So right arm, right leg, step it up, squeeze, squeeze those inner thighs. Remember, if you're taking that bow, you can practice kind of both sides here, working that waist, mm -hmm. or if you're going for that twisted ballerina. Same arm as the leg on the back. So you gotta figure that out. Leg on the back's gonna create that pocket, whether you're on the pole or on the floor. You need that pocket right there. So I come back around, same arm, slides under that pocket. Top arm, twist up, open everything up. Maybe I get that extension up here. Maybe I do it from the floor. If you're off the floor, bring that back leg back around first. Squeeze those inner thighs so you can release that shoulder. You're always trying to protect that shoulder. Narrow rip, shoulders back and down, pop it off, okay? Let's walk through the left side. So just feeling it out again. Going for that step around to kick around. Let's go, outside leg, step around, wrap that arm, tip, tip. Here we go, that strong hold, hands low, inside leg, bring it back. Wide squats, four, three, Two, last one, body rolls, hands low, chest, abs, hips. Again, last one, left arm, take a walk, we're getting ready for that spin. So choosing that arm height, getting horizontal. If you're ready, inside leg, front hook. Spin it around, there we go. Getting to the floor, push your back into the floor, legs go up. Here we go, dig and kick, dig, kick. Strong legs, abs tight. Push your back into the pole. Let's reverse it, drag and kick, drag, kick, drag it, kick it, drag, kick. Last one, wide two, double legs. Roll it over, pop it up. Push back into that pole as you come up. Peel it off, left arm, we're ready to climb. So left hand, left leg, steps up, shove the pole in the floor, find that pole stand. Again, choosing your bow to each side, working that inner thigh and waist. And then again, if you're gonna play with that twisted ballerina from up here, the leg on the back creates that little pocket. I take that same arm, bring it around, slide it right underneath, 
twist through that torso, open up and grip, bring that shoulder back and down, front leg comes off, and when I come out of it, I wrap that back leg again, drop that shoulder, always to protect the shoulder, narrow grip, shoulders back and down, and I pop it off, okay? So I want you to continue to practice that, but one more thing you can add in as you get more comfortable with your climb. So when you walk into your climb and pose, that time around I had you stop, if we were on the right arm, you stopped and did right arm, right leg, and stepped up. If you're walking into it, you can add in that spin climb that's gonna kind of power and push you and makes the routine a little more fluid so there's not just that stop. When you go into it, your lead hand is high, whichever arm we're on, so if we're on the right arm right now, as I would go into it, that outside leg and arm are gonna hook, almost like a fireman spin. Standing leg would end up coming on the back side of the pole, just like a fireman here. I pinch the pole in between those knees as I would push up, and you can continue into your climb. So, if I were to just climb right, and I took my right leg, it's still gonna be on the back side of the pole. If I walk into it, and I take my spinning climb, the outside leg is gonna hook, but the inside leg is still gonna end up on the back side of the pole. So I'll put you in the same spot, okay? Let me show it in real motion. I walk, walk, when I'm ready, that outside leg, swing, hook, crunch, and go, all right? So now I'm in my pole stand, I added a little fluidity to it, and I can go into just my stand here, or again, that twisted ballerina. So here it is again. You can try with me if you want. Right arm, taking a walk around. That outside leg and arm, swing, hook to the pole, crunch, push. All right. Let's try it left side. Left arm, taking that walk. Again, that outside arm and leg would hook. Standing leg would come up right on the back side of the pole. So I would be here, pinch, push, okay? So you end up in the same position as if you were just to left hand, stop, left leg, climb, okay? So let's walk into it together. Walking around, outside leg and arm, tip, hook, crunch, and push up, okay? So again, you're in your pole stand, play with that play with your ballerina, you can even practice that, and then come right back down. And then the leg that's on the back side would plant, okay? And I would come around to tip and practice my ballerina here, my twisted ballerina, okay? There's a difference between twisted ballerina and ballerina, and I apologize, I keep saying ballerina as a general term, but it's a twisted ballerina that we're playing with today, okay? And you should know that because you're very twisted, all right? All right, let's cool down a little bit, and then if you want to continue practicing, feel free to do so. You can just pause right here and come back to me when you're ready for a cool down. Let's walk around. So we're going to stop on the side of the pole, feel those legs out wide, a couple hip and chest circles here, and then a couple little body rolls, and let's take a couple dips side to side. A little bit deeper this time. Just letting your weight drop. Last one. Hold it at the top. Go ahead and walk those hands down. Shimmy on down. Take that stretch right here. Hands can come to the floor if you're ready. Shift it into each hip, each foot. Let the neck and head hang. And then bend those knees as you walk it back up. Stepping close to the base. We're gonna stand on the right foot, take that left leg nice and long behind us, finding a lunge here, knee over that ankle. Think about pushing that pole away. And then let's tuck that back hip under, so feel the stretch on the front of that hip right here. And then drag that back heel in a little bit, drop the heel so the legs are straight, hips are square, and then flatten that back out. And then we're gonna step those feet together, switch legs. So the right leg goes back, knee over that ankle, nice and strong here, and then tuck that back hip, so now you're stretching the front of that right hip. And then we're gonna come back up, slide that right foot in, straighten those legs, drop your head to the side, nice flat back. And then we 
walk those hands back up. Let's face the front, palms on the back feet close to the base of the pole. Drop those hips out, you can bend that inside leg, open that chest. And then we're gonna pull it back in. Open up wide again, hands low, round that back, that big cat stretch. So you're really pulling the shoulder blades apart. Tuck in those hips under. You can wiggle a little bit side to side. And then roll it back up. Let's cross the other side for that side stretch. Palms on the back of the pole, feet close to the base. Let those hips drop out, bend that inside leg, open that chest up. Pull it back in. Feel free to hang out longer in any of those as you want to. Hands low as you face the pole. Round that back, that back stretch again. So you can take the legs a little closer or a little wider. Just a little variation. I like to peekaboo under each arm as I round that back and tuck those hips. Again, you're just letting your weight hang off the pole, pulling the shoulder blades apart. Roll it back up top. Take a couple shoulder rolls back here, and then forward with it. And then we're gonna turn around with our backside on the pole. Take both hands up top, thumbs down. Keep your butt right on the pole as you push that chest forward. So think about pushing the sternum forward. You can push through each shoulder. Just feel that stretch in the chest and shoulder, whatever feels good. And then go ahead and bring it back in. Regrip that pole low. Let your body lean away as you roll those shoulders back and down. Swivel those hips a little bit side to side. So you're really pulling the shoulders back and down, feeling that stretch down the neck, chest, shoulders. And then just stay there, let your hips fall forward a little bit more, whatever feels good, and take your head from side to side. And then stick that chin forward as you pull the shoulders down. Big stretch in the neck and shoulders, and then pull it back in. Just slide across the front. Big inhale here, up. Exhale down. And again, up. And exhale. Good job. See you next time.